Alright, so um, before we start this video, right, if I sound like I can't breathe out my nose, it's because I can't. So I don't need y'all saying, oh, why you sound so nasally? Because I'm sick. Alright, what's up guys? J Aesthetics here, back with another video. Um, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys a few little tips on how I was able to bench the 110 dumbbells in my first year, which a lot of you guys find really, really crazy for some reason. I don't know. So I'm going to be giving you guys little tips on um, how I was able to do it, what I did to reach that level or whatever. So obviously, you know, you always got to stretch out, uh, warm up or whatever, you know, all them circles with your arms and stuff. I actually know stretching out is a really good, important tip because it does help your muscle uh, mobility, which in turn will help with your strength and everything like that. Um, so the first tip I would probably have to go over is probably the most obvious one. I've said it multiple times. If you want to get stronger in something, you have to do it more times. So for me, I was literally, I never benched. I used to always do dumbbell presses. So every time I went to the gym, it was, I was hitting dumbbell. So I would suggest hitting dumbbell presses at least twice a week, at least. I was hitting it sometimes three times a week just because, you know, I just wanted, and I, didn't, I never really had a goal, you know, I wanted to hit the one, 10 dumbbells or 100 dumbbells or whatever like that it kind of just happened after a while i don't know so um yeah as you can if i'm looking this way it's because the screen is right here and i have to look at the thing while i'm talking y'all understand but um so yeah that was the first tip i wanted to go over the second tip is do not um just because you want to get to 110 or the high number whatever you want to get to 130s don't forget to do like lighter reps i mean lighter weight and higher reps um, what I used to do, I used to superset it, so I would do like the hundreds or whatever is heavy for like six, and then I would burn out with like 70% um, of the heavy weight, and I'd burn out do as much as I could, and I would do that for a couple sets, so I would do a really heavy weight for like six reps, then I will cut it to like 70% of what it was, and just keep going out, or keep repping out till I failed. Um, how much time do I have left? Hold on. I got a minute left. Um, another tip, so yeah, don't neglect the lightweight because they're amazing especially supersetting it with heavy and light it's just i don't know maybe it's just in my head but i feel like it really really does help just for the fact that you know you're reaching that maximum level of muscle fatigue because you're getting the heavy as much as you can or for a solid six reps then you're completely burning out with still a fairly heavy weight but not as heavy as that Another um, big important tip that people don't really do that much, even with bench press, regular bench press, is if you do incline, you um, incline presses always help your regular presses because they're so much easier. I mean, they're so much harder. Incline is so much harder than regular bench press. So if you could do like the 100s for incline, <laughs> you're repping 130, man, on flat. That's probably not how it works, but that's just a little demonstration. I think the video is about to stop here, so I might have to stop in a second. Um, so yeah, it's a few tips I went over, or that I can give you. Do it multiple times, at least two times a week, maybe three. Um, oh snap, it's over. Where was I at? Oh, um, do it multiple times, at least two times a week. I was doing it three times, or however many I was doing it. Do it as many times as, you know, I would suggest two. Stick with two, don't overtrain it. I'll stick with two, and... Um, don't forget the lighter reps. Supersetting is very, very um, important to me. I just feel like it really, really helps to reach that maximum, maximum level of, you know, tiredness or muscle fatigue and everything like that. And the third tip is incline. I would highly suggest doing incline because if you can work up your incline to a pretty good um, number, then you can work up your flat, where well, your flat goes up with your incline because it's just, it's harder. So you do an incline for the hundreds. You can do more with flat bench. So yeah, those three tips are kind of what I use to get to that level. So I um, hope this video was informative. If it was, drop a like and a comment. I want you guys to use those tips and like give me your results. It's so, like in like a week or two, or whatever week, um, just DM me on Instagram at J Aesthetics. Or you could comment and say, yeah, um, I was able to get to this level um, by kind of applying some of the things that you told me. Um, if you want to do that, that'd be cool. I'd like to see that. If you don't, that's fine. No hard feelings. But yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment. If you're not already subscribed, turn on post notifications because I'm always posting now.
It's just two times a week is where I'm at. Let me stop rambling. Hold on. Um, I'm out.